It's time for two's pet project. Monica Schmidt from the Houston Humane Society. I'm holding Sandra D. Yeah. Tell me about Sandra. So she is about eight weeks old. She's just a little baby. Yeah. She has big paws, so we know she's going to be a big girl when she's full grown. She's listed as a retriever, but I think there's probably some shepherd in there with the coloring that she has. She's part of a litter of four, and they all need homes. There's Aww. three girls, one boy. Um, so you can make one of these cuties yours today oh. at Houston Humane. Oh, you want to teeth a little bit? Hmm? Yeah, she's still puppy teething, yeah. giving kisses, oh, sweet, yeah. huggable, yeah. lovable. She thinks she's a lap dog, but she's probably going <laughs> to outgrow gonna be, that quick. She's going to be able to, and she, I think we woke her up from her nap or something. Yes. So she's probably a lot more active, but at any rate, she's beautiful. Let's talk about this, though, as we have dogs now. Mm -hmm. And you have your pets out. Now's the time of the season when we're starting to put in gardens and things like that. Right. There's some things we really need to be careful Absolutely. about. Absolutely. The first thing I would tell people is to consider what plants you're adding to your garden because so many are toxic to pets. Um, here in the South, we see sago palms. Mm -hmm. They're so popular, but there are um, estimates that if your dog eats it, they have a 50% mortality rate. It's that poisonous to dogs. Yeah. So you really want to, if you have those, keep all the area cleaned up, anything that debris that falls off of them. If you have an inquisitive pet, you may just get rid of your sago palm. Opt to be cautious. Right. Um, and then flowering plants like tulips, lilies, amaryllis, they're beautiful, but they can also be poisonous to our pets. So you want to be careful about what you plant. And then also think about mulch, what you're putting on top of the ground yeah, there. They really are interested in mulch yes. and chewing it and yes. all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, they're inquisitive. Dogs really want to, um, they, they experience things with their mouth. So mm -hmm. the first thing they're going to do is lick the mulch. So don't get anything with an herbicide or fertilizer added into it because that's really just them licking chemicals. Right. Um, we tell you to opt for just an untreated plain mulch um, and stay away from anything that has cocoa holes in it. And fertilizer and those kinds of things you want to make yes. sure you use natural stuff. Right. Use natural stuff. If you do have any of those sorts of chemicals, it's not only putting them on your plants, but you also need to make sure that they're kept somewhere that your pet can't get into. If they're kept in an area where your pet frequents, you know, they could easily chew into that bottle. So Good advice for everybody who's listening. Sandra D is going to have a home today. I can just feel it. I, I think so. Houston Humane Society <laughs> and, and her other siblings as well. Houston uh, Humane Society is open today from 11 to 530, located at 14700 Almeda Road. That's in southwest Houston. By the way, you can see thousands of animals in need from dozens of Houston area shelters. Just go to our Adopt a Pet section on clicktohouston.com. It is under the Consumer 